So now we need to start adding songs to our set list. On the left-hand side of the screen, this section right here, this big uh, square block right here, this is called Live's file browser. We're gonna be running tracks. And so what we need is down here, this section called places. And I just scrolled down to see it. Places is a way to access files on your computer. So you can click on add folder and then choose a folder on your computer to add a shortcut to. So in my music folder, I have a folder called my worship songs and I added a shortcut to it. And it's right here, my worship songs. And this is where I store all of my tracks because you actually have to have the tracks for the songs. So let's look at uh, open up the heavens. You've got every instrument as its own wave file. And that's what we're gonna use inside of Ableton Live. So let's go ahead and do open up the heavens. That's our first song. So I'm gonna right click on our first song in the set list right here. I'm gonna right click and choose rename. And I'm gonna call this open up the heavens. Okay, and then let's go and start bringing in our audio files. I like to start with the band cues just because I personally like to have the band cues on the far left side of the screen. I just think for organizational purpose purposes, I like the band cues to be in the first track. So I'm gonna rename this by right clicking, rename and choose and type in band cues. And I'm gonna drag and drop the cues here. And now I should have the band cue here. Intro, two, three, That's four. a little cue that's gonna tell the band uh, where we are in the song. And now I'm gonna start bringing in my other instruments. Notice that when I drag and drop it, it's gonna create a brand new track for me automatically. I'm gonna do that for the bass as well. Now, for those of you who wanna save some time, you can just hold uh, command or shift and select multiple at the same time like this and then just drag. Now notice that it's trying to drop them in vertically. We don't want them to drop in vertically. So instead, what you do is while you're dragging it, just hold the command key and it will drop them in horizontally. And it created a bunch of, bunch of tracks for me.